application to be consolidated and heard together with the other applications that have been heard today. Madam Saleh, for the 15th Rotary Party in 15, may I just be heard for one minute only. <coughs> but Roger Andrea asked an important question. How do we move forward? Now the paradox as I got it, because I don't want to make speeches, is that my colleagues accused this side of making speeches, and in the process they made speeches. I wasn't quite a <laughs> but having said that, having said that, my Lord, an issue has arisen following disclosures by my Lord Justice Mbrema about how this bench has been constituted. You, it's now apparent that uh, the petitioner and the, fifth, the, the first interested party in Petition 15 have an issue with that. We suggest that we be given time to file a formal application. It could not have been filed earlier because the disclosure has been made here. And since that issue goes to the core of your capacity seat, it ought to be resolved preliminarily. Whether you have been properly impaneled is the most preliminary of preliminary issues. We add that you give direction of the nature of a timeline when that application ought to be filed, a timeline when responses will be filed, then give us a return date to come and can pass that application on whether you are properly constituted. Because if it turns out you are improperly constituted, even the issue of recusal becomes secondary. But if it comes out that you are properly constituted, then the, sec the issue of recusal now follows. I add that if we follow that route, in accordance with my teacher's guide and Professor Gidu Muigai, there will be greater order and coherence. And I thank you. But, but not, is, is that an adjournment? Is that if Mr. Ngoi applying for an adjournment? Because he's saying, and perhaps rightly or wrongly, that even the recusal application comes after determination of the question of impanelment. If that be so, an and they may leave, they, they, they normally leave court, they may leave, they left uh, Senate, may leave court, we let them say whether they are applying for an adjournment. Is that, uh, uh, is that remark, they normally leave court, they left Senate, my palatable uh, in this court, my lord? I need that no, answer. because this is an adjournment. No, no, is that remark palatable before my lord and my lady? <laughs> but because, you know, we, we have decor about them, but if you have a professor of law, misbehaving at the bar, then there's a problem. <laughs> I'm urging that you direct that that remark be withdrawn first, then we make progress. I'm urging, my lord, the remark was made in your presence, I'm urging it be withdrawn first, then I can respond. My lord, I have no problem with withdrawing the remark, but the point is, it is a veiled application for adjournment, because Mr. Ngoya is saying that the court must address the que question of impanelment before the recusal. So why can't you just get to the point? I have, I am answered the question now, but I know that he has withdrawn. He said he has no problem with withdrawing, but I didn't withdraw. I want him to withdraw first, my lord, because I'm entitled to Ngoya, Ngoya, I have no problem with withdrawing. You're my friend, but... No, I have no problem, my lord. I withdraw the remark, Thank but so Thank you. there is practice. Thank you. Let me now address the question as addressed. <laughs> Uh, my, my, my Lord, uh, Professor Jenda was my teacher and my mentor of many years. I have no disrespect for him. I just want my own dignity asserted because I can't protect my client's dignity if my own is in question. But having said that, um, my Lord Judge Murima, you are a witness that the issue of how this bench was impaneled has been disclosed here when we are here. We have raised concerns through Lanet's colleagues, Ekiba Mungai, and learned colleague Mr. Njeru and Mr. Ndegwa, that we now want to take that as an issue. My colleagues have rightfully submitted that that matter requires a substantive application. Rightly, we agree with them fully. But you'll agree with me that if you are improperly constituted, then you cannot make one more step. Is that in that request that my Lord Jan Murima asked, how do we move forward? I also had my learned uh, mentor, Professor Gedo Mwega, again ask, how do we move in an orderly manner? I'm suggesting let that substantive application be placed before you. Being as preliminary as it appears on the face of it, give back-to-back -back timelines on the compliance by the parties. Let the parties come and now formally address you on that question. Let us have a determination on that question. I humbly believe. Sorry, Chief, again, now, the 